let's take a few minutes to talk about these stinkers where it kind of has that like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm trying to think. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foos for you today. And this was a week of trying new makeup, either new to me or new in general and just kind of testing out new makeup. So I do have some thoughts on these products. I have some standout favorites and yeah, just favorites to talk about. So let's get to the favorites. So I got a couple things from Optoly this week to try out, both from ColourPop, which is really exciting. First off is the Amanda Steele and ColourPop Weekend Warrior Palette. So here is the little outside sleeve for that. Really pretty packaging. Here's the actual palette. I love the look of it, but it's a little bit bulky. Um, for it being pressed shadows in there, you know, they're not baked or anything. So I think it could have been a little bit thinner So that's something I would have changed about it, but I love the look of it It's a really pretty looking palette So pretty to look at but just a little bit bulky So this is my first time trying out their pressed shadows and a few of you guys had asked me if I've tried them And I hadn't until this week. So I have some thoughts. So first off This is a really kind of I don't know neat edgy grungy cool tone sort of a palette so i really like the feel of it like the tone and um, just the overall kind of like theme to it like i feel like it's something different there are so many warm tone palettes out right now it's neat to have something different so this is a little bit different so i like that about it i like the different sort of a vibe the grungy vibe to it um and they're all matte they're all matte here this one i think has a little bit of like a satin sheen so all matte except for that one that has just a little bit of a sheen. Um, these blended well. I noticed that they blended really well on the eyes. They do have a little bit of fallout, but not that bad, and that's not a game changer for me. So just a little bit, I would tap off your brush when you use them. I did notice a little bit of fading with these though. Not bad, but I just noticed some fading. So you'll have to let me know if you've experienced that with their pressed shadows, because I really don't remember ever noticing that with their potted shadows but I mostly have metallics in the pots and I apply those with my fingers. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. You know, I'm applying these with a brush and it's just a thinner coat or something. So I'm not really sure because I like how they look. I like how they blend. I like how they are to apply, but I just noticed a little bit of fading with them, which is a bummer. Um, I would say my favorite in the palette is this one right here. Just a really pretty kind of like purpley gray color. It's really pretty. I've still been playing with my Juvia's Place palette. My Masquerade palette came in the mail, which is really exciting. So I used that a couple of times, but I used this one more this week, the Nubian 2. Thank you so much for your feedback on last week's Friday Favorites. I kind of got like different suggestions and ideas from you guys. So I think what I'm going to do is do review video with swatches, comparisons, um, really talking about like the differences I see in formulas, maybe if I do see differences from palette to palette. So I'll do a review video and then I think I'm gonna do some get ready with me tutorials, something, something, maybe one on each palette or something like that. So I'm gonna do multiple videos on these palettes. So you can look forward to that. I'm excited to film them for you guys. So the Nubian 2, I have been Loving this palette this week. This is what I have on my eyes today. Um, I have this one in my crease, this one in my crease, this one on my lids, this one in the outer corner, and this one on my lower lash line. So this is just so pretty. It's, I mean, so buttery. I'm loving these palettes. I'm really loving playing with them and just experimenting with different, you know, color combinations and I feel like they're really fun palettes because you've got neutrals in there, but then you've got, I mean, like gorgeous pops of color. And so you've just got a lot of options like for every day, but then you've got, you know, colorful options too for like, I don't know, a creative makeup day or maybe blue eyeshadow is your everyday makeup. I mean, then it could be an everyday makeup palette for you too. So. It's just fun. I love this color. That is one of my very favorites in the whole palette. So yeah, I've still just been really trying these out and trying to really note any differences that I see from palette to palette formula wise, how they work. So I'm still going to try them out a little bit more 
and then I'm definitely gonna film some videos for you guys. For cheeks this week, I really just have one standout blush favorite, but I was loving some highlights this week, so I have some highlighters to talk about. But blush, I was really loving NARS's Orgasm. I have a little tiny, like, mini size that I, I don't know, I got in a point perk or something like that. So I do have this on today. Y'all probably all know what this looks like. There are definitely other dupes that you could find for this. I mean, there's I can't think of like specific drugstore examples, but I know that there are some out there. Um, what's it called? Uh, Pixies, ooh, something rose. One of their brand new ones, one of their glowy powders. It looks pretty close to this, maybe a little bit more pinky. So that would be an option, um, but that's a little bit higher end for drugstore. I think they're like $18 or something like that. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. I love this one, it's so pretty. It's just that glowy, pinky peachy color with like a lot of gold sheen to it. It's just a classic, beautiful blush. And it really just gives that gorgeous, youthful glow to the cheeks. So I feel like it's just a great staple blush. But again, you know, this is kind of like the high-end version, the one that all of them are compared to, I think for good reason, because it's a gorgeous blush. But I do think that you can definitely find some less expensive alternatives to this specific sort of a blush color. For highlighters this week, this is the other item that I got from Octoly. This is the ColourPop Waffle Highlighter Trio, and it comes with Scrumptious, Glazed, and Flexitarian. So I'm wearing Flexitarian today, and clearly I went a little bit crazy with it. <laughs> but I couldn't stop because this highlighter is so pretty have it on the inner corners of my eyes too. It's amazing. So it's three different ones that comes in this little outside sleeve. It's so pretty. They're a little bit kind of tough to get out of there. You really kind of have to like, oh, I bent my box. Oh, y'all know how I feel about my packaging and keeping boxes. So that sucks. But anyway, you just kind of like press it and they're all in there and they're individually packaged. So let me get these out and swatch these for you. Okay, so here they all are. Just take a moment and soak in that gorgeous highlightiness right there. That's some gorgeous highlightiness. Okay, so down here, this one is Scrumptious. That one's the pinky one of the group and I love a pinky highlight. So this is a gorgeous pinky highlight. And it's kind of like a like an icy pinky highlight. It's definitely not as pigmented as Flexitarian, but I mean, that one is like, you can see it from space, kind of a highlighter. This one is still really intense and beautiful, but nothing compared to that. So there is Scrumptious right there. So it is a really pretty pink. Glazed is kind of like a marbled look in the actual container. And then when it's all swirled together, it's kind of like a light golden sort of a highlight really pretty. I love that one too. I love all three of these. I think they're gorgeous. And then I feel like the winner of the group, like the standout one that I've heard people talk about before, I think I might've even owned this before because this sounds familiar to me. Flexitarian is up here, but it's just super intense and metallic. And it's a very kind of like icy silvery champagne sort of a highlight. Oh my goodness. So gorgeous. So I apply these just with a highlighter brush. I haven't been using any kind of special brush. I, could, I was about to say blush. No, not a special blush for them. I haven't been using any kind of a special brush, just like my regular highlighter, like tulip shaped brushes, and they work just fine. I do notice these fade on me a little bit like cream highlights do. So what I'm gonna use these for, and I haven't done this yet, but this is what I'm planning on doing, is using these for layering. So put them on and then put a powder on top of them to set them. I think that's gonna help just because I have combo oily skin. So anything that has, rude, my camera cut me off. But what I was saying is anything that has kind of like a creamy sort of a texture to it just moves around on my combo oily skin. So these are like, they're really interesting. They're kind of in between a cream. I don't know. They really are more like a cream. I mean, yeah, more so than a powder. They seem more like a cream. So I'm gonna set them and I think that will help them last a lot better because they are really beautiful and intense. They just move around on my skin type. So let's take a few minutes and talk about these stinkers. 
And I say stinkers because I'm sure a lot of you guys are like me and have spent countless hours and lots of gas driving around looking for these on the display. These are the Wet n Wild Spring 2017 Queen of My Heart Collection highlighters. So it comes with two highlighters, but the displays only have two of each color. At least every display that I've seen, like people posting about online, it just has two in each display. And I found displays, none of them had the highlighters. They were always sold out. So I ended up just like biting the bullet and purchasing the whole collection online from Wet uh, n Wild's website just to get the highlighters. So let's talk about them. So first off is Lilac to Reality. They are adorable. Like if I had just like come across a display and gotten these, I mean, I would just be jumping up and down excited. I'm still really excited about them and I'm so glad that I now have them, but I'm a little bit like annoyed, you know, because I just wish that they would put more in their displays so that more people could get them because they have such great products. Like these are really, really pretty. So first off, Lilac to Reality, I'm gonna swirl it together for you. I do have these swatched um, individually on my Instagram. So Lilac to Reality, I don't know. This one's pretty, but I'm I'm not that wowed by this one. It's a really cool, kind of like silvery purple kind of a color. Um, but I think I was expecting it to be more pigmented. And I feel like most of the swatches that I've seen other people posting and online and stuff, they look more pigmented than mine. Mine seems a little bit, um, not bad. I mean, still such a great highlighter for $5, I think they were. So still really nice quality, but um, mine seems a little bit powdery and kind of like I have to build up the pigmentation. But I did wear this on the inner corners of my eyes one day and it wore really well, looked really pretty. So it is really beautiful. Um, I just wasn't as wowed by it as I thought I was gonna be, especially with all the buzz around them. Um, and then this one, I really like. Like this one's beautiful. This is the sweetest bling. This one's kind of like a pinkier toned one, which when I was seeing pictures, I figured I would like this one more. So it's got like, they each have a little um, heart in the middle. Mine are getting a little bit, you know, wonky looking because I've been swatching them and wearing them. So Sweetest Bling is more of like a pinky kind of a highlight. This would look really pretty with Scrumptious from ColourPop under it. And I think it would be a great one to kind of set that. So I think they'd pair really well together. So anyway, there is the Sweetest Bling I mean, this one is really beautiful. Like that one is gorgeous. So I would say if you can find these in a display, absolutely grab them because they are beautiful. They're gorgeous highlighters, great for the price. They really are very pretty. Um, but I'm just like, I don't know if they were worth all that effort of driving around and looking for them, but I know it would have just bugged me to not have them in my collection. You know what I mean? Like. So I would say if you can find them, then yes, get them. But if you can't find them, I wouldn't worry about it too, too much. Um, unless you're kind of just a collector like me and you just really want them to have in your collection. I don't know. I mean, overall, I love them. I think they're pretty. I just wish the display had more in there than just two of each color. For lips this week, I have been loving trying out some new stuff from Makeup Geek. They were so sweet and sent me a box of a bunch of different lip products in there and I've been loving trying them out. So first off, I'm so impressed with this. I wore this several times this week. It lived in my purse. I actually just got both of these out of my purse because I've been wearing them all week. This one is definitely I think this is overall the standout for me of the two I'm about to mention. So this is the Plush Matte, and this is in the color Beach Bunny. So really cute packaging to it. And this is such a pretty kind of like warm toned, peachy nude kind of a color. It's really beautiful. So pretty. Okay, so does it have a scent? Let me see. No, I really don't notice. I can't really notice a scent on it. I don't think it has a scent. Okay, so it's a really pretty kind of like warm nude. Um, but what I'm so impressed with with this is the formula. It's very moussey and comfortable. It kind of reminds me of like a combination of the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Liquid Lip Colors in how comfortable it feels. But then also the... Um, 
what was it? The Body Shop liquid lipsticks where it kind of has that like, I don't know, I don't know why I'm doing this, I'm trying to think. Like that moussey sort of a texture to it. Kind of seems like a combo of the two, like the comfort of the Bare Minerals ones, but then the kind of like feeling of the Body Shop ones. Or even like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. A little bit like those, but not as much like those. I don't know, it's kind of like a hybrid of several different things that I've tried, but I really, really like it because it's very comfortable, it's very moussey, and I did not notice the intense line at all. It really just kind of like gradually faded in the middle of my lips, which is absolutely what I want from some kind of like a liquid lip color kind of a product. I don't like the intense line. I don't like the weirdness when it starts to wear away. I just want it to fade like a regular lipstick, which is what these did, and I loved that about them. So they did fade a little bit more in the middle of my lips versus the outside, but that, I mean, any lip color or lip product does it that way on me. So anyway, so impressed with the formula. Love that color. I think that's going to be so pretty in the summertime. It's just like a, I don't know, warm, beachy, pinky kind of a nudie color. Really, really awesome. Love that. And what I'm wearing on my lips right now is this kind of like muted, edgy sort of a nude color. I think it's really just kind of like a different kind of a brownie nude. And it is doing a little bit of the line, but it's not doing the there, not there line. It's doing that kind of like whitish line in the middle. But I noticed that with a lot of lighter lip colors. I don't know why they do that, but I just kind of wipe that away. So it's doing it a little bit, but I love the color of it. This is the Plush Cream, and this is in Jet Setter. I really like the formula on these two. I really can't tell like a huge difference between the Plush Matte and the Plush Cream. To me, I really don't notice a huge difference because um, this kind of sets down a little bit to be sort of more matte, um, kind of like the Plush Matte. So I don't know if it's like the Plush Matte just kind of like start out more like that. Um, and then these was kind of like set down to it. I'm not sure, but I really like the formula on both of them. They're both long wearing, they're both comfortable. They don't do the they're not there line. They just kind of like fade gradually, which is absolutely what I want. Um, so I'm just really impressed with them. And this one's kind of like just a really neat, kind of funky, different sort of a color. So I really like that about it. It has an edginess to it because it's sort of different. It's almost like a mustardy kind of a nude, you know what I mean? Like a mustardy nude. I don't know. Anyway, really, really loving those. I'm so impressed with these formulas. Um, Cause sometimes, you know, like matte liquid lipsticks aren't my favorite, but these, I would say, well, both of these really, but I don't know. I, I don't know if I can choose a favorite. Anyway, what I was gonna say is these, I would say are in my top five to 10 liquid lipsticks that I've tried so far now that I've tried these. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.